News Mississippi. For Daily Digital, I'm Courtney Carter, and today is March 17th. Shakedown at the state pen. Smokes, shanks, cell phones, drugs, you name it, it's all been found within our state prisons and all since February. Since February, there have been five prisons, some private ones and some state-owned ones that have gone through these, uh, these shakedowns, these searches, and they're looking for all kinds of things. Now, the shanks have actually been used to harm other inmates and harm some of the officers, and the cell phones, some of them are using them to call their families, others are using them to call and hassle the victims of the crimes that actually got them there in the first place. What prisons have been searched and what they found where at newsms.fm. And if you're on the job hunt, listen up. Mississippi Silicon is adding 200 new jobs. Now their plant's not finished yet, but they're gonna need the people when it opens and they're gonna need it quickly. They're actually gonna start building up their, uh, their workforce through the Mississippi Department of Employment Security, but you can still apply. And to do that, you can find a link on our website at newsms.fm. And have you ever driven by a chicken house? It stinks, right? It smells terrible. Well, the people that live in Puckett, they've had to deal with that today, plus more. Two chicken houses went up in smoke there in Puckett at Buddy Farms. 22,000 chickens lost in that fire. Only about a thousand were able to make it out. Now, the owner of that farm, Mr. Van Latham, he says that this is a total loss for his business that he's been running for almost 13 years. And if you're loving the sunny and warm weather, enjoy it while you can. Starting Wednesday, the storms and the rain are gonna be moving back in, and unfortunately, looks like it's gonna stick around for about a week. Now, this isn't doing any favors for those rivers that are already nearing their flood stages, especially the Mississippi River. They were looking to get some flood waters starting next week. Now, this rain is just gonna pile in on top of that. And yesterday, Governor Phil Bryant set up the Hurricane Katrina Remembrance Commission, and he put former Governor Haley Barber and his wife Marsha at the top of that. And they also went over what their memories were of Katrina. And in August, it'll make 10 years since Katrina hit the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So what are some of your memories? Let us know on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash newsms.fm. Daily Digital, I'm Courtney Carter.